Oh. Um, yeah. Please. Like father, like son. Yeah, I look pretty cool with those glasses, though. You look like you got chipmunks in cheeks. Did you? What? What was it? Hi, baby. Look at her. Yeah, well, you're always that way. Bye. <laughs> get him, get him. <laughs> Aww. We're too young to have kids your age. <laughs> Hi, Grandma.
Damn it, Cosmo. And I was going to blow it. Jenkins will slaughter that little girl. Never knew what hit him. All right, I'll put 15 rounds for the prick. He eats and shits, same as us, right? Hodges and Osborne are dead. Watch yourself. Casey, God. Casey. Ah! <laughs> 
Looking forward to this meeting for three years, cop. Now put the gun down. You gotta be shitting me, man. Put the gun down or I got the little bitch. Hey, this is between you and me. Let the girl go. Okay. First you put the gun down. I don't understand why you want to see Jinky die. I want to see it. Then I know it's over, then I get back on the street. Have you talked to Hank Miller about it? Miller thinks that I need more desk time, and I'll continue my sessions with Dr. Tower. Maybe you should. Don't start with that psychiatry shit. Lucas, you just tried to strangle me. Locking Jinky up didn't make the nightmare stop. Maybe knowing that he's dead won't make them stop either. Maybe you should see Dr. Tower. I love you, Lucas. And I want you back. Come on, Jenky. It's checkout time. Keep that gun against his head. at Turner State Penitentiary, where Max Jinky, said by some to be the most feared mass murderer in this nation's history, will be put to death. Max Jinky, whose one last request 
was to be buried with his meat cleaver, the same meat cleaver he used to kill most of his victims, the number of which police sources are conservatively estimating at more than 110, including seven police officers. Hold it, Joe. Detective McCarthy. Detective, so you were involved in the Max Jinky investigation from the very beginning. It must be a great relief to you to see this man finally off the streets of our city. Yes, sir. Would it be safe to say that you are happy to see Jinky get the death sentence? I'm happy to see it, Justice, sir. Uh, Detective, you've been on a leave of absence since the night of Jinky's apprehension. Will you uh, will you be back on the job soon? Ah, uh, yes, I'm yeah. very much better. Detective McCarthy, can I ask you Sir, Detective McCarthy, how do you feel? How do you feel? Lucas McCarthy, the man who captured Max Jinky. Glad you could make it, cop. Please, my son, you need to make your peace. May God have mercy on your soul. Any last words, Jackie? Blow it out your ass, pinhead. All right, let's get on with this. Give me a hard on. Increase the voltage. Yeah, increase the voltage, shithead. Thank <laughs> you. 
You sure nobody's been in this room? Look, Professor, I told you. Nobody's been in here since I brought Jenky in. And you haven't heard or seen anything unusual in here? What the hell are you talking about? Power surges or uh, electrical impulses. Listen, Professor. The only thing in here are dead bodies. And the only power surges or electrical impulses are the ones we use to kill a fuck. Well, it may not be that easy, Doctor. Then I've read some of your theories. And personally, I think you're full of shit. And I don't know how you got the state to allow you to do this kind of research. But I do know that we sent 50,000 volts of juice through that scum. And he's one dead son of a bitch. Well, I certainly hope so. Could I have a look now, please? It's all yours. Looks pretty dead to me, Professor. Hmm. What are you doing? Just satisfying my curiosity. Look, I've got work to do. I don't have time to watch you take readings off a dead man. Call me when you're through. Scott McCarthy? Yeah. Sign here. Leave a message at the beep. Vinny, where are you? I need your next... Okay, great. Marianne, I'll just give you a call if I have more questions. Okay, bye-bye. Who was that? Marianne. Marianne got a three-day growth look a little like Don Johnson. Mom. Who was that at the door, honey? It's okay. It was for me. I don't want anyone over here tonight when we're out. I'm going to be 18 on Saturday. Wow. You're still my baby. You seen Cosmo? He's probably chasing Scott in the basement. <laughs> Cosmo! Kitty, kitty, come on! Kitty! Cosmo! Yummy! Cosmo, come on, you little rat, come on.
Kitty. How did it feel today, watching him die? Uh, if the fucker didn't go down easy, I'll say that for him. He kept coming at me. He had half the juice in the state going through him, and he kept coming and coming. It was unbelievable. You have any guilt about this? I would have paid to see that scum die. <laughs> you feel better, then? Yeah. I can get back to work if you sign those release papers. What's that? On your shirt? Yeah, that's nothing, just a scratch. Did you cut yourself? I don't know. Let me see that. Open your shirt. What the hell for? I want to see it. What is that? How'd that happen? I don't know. It's just a thing. You having that dream again? Yeah. Did he throw the cleaver? Yeah. You're Catholic, aren't you? No. Hmm. I thought for a minute it might be a stigmata. Stigmata? Christ wounds on the cross. Saints have been reported to have bled from them. Other people, too. I had a Irish cop last year shot a young boy. He started bleeding from the palms of his hands. Very strange phenomenon. Christ's sake. That's the stupidest fucking thing I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to sign this thing for me, Doc, or what? Yeah, I guess I might as well get you started. Thank you, Doc. You ought to put some soda water on that. That stain doesn't set. Yeah. <laughs> What's all this? It's Nessa's quick. It's two cases of chocolate and one of strawberry. And how are you going to pay for all this? Oh, it's free. They sent it to me. Why? Because I wrote and told them I found rat hair in my last carton of their otherwise delicious product. Scott, it's the fourth delivery this month. I'm gonna have to talk to your father about all this. He's not gonna be real happy about it. Mom, it's not that serious. I mean, what's the problem here? I just wish you wouldn't rip off the entire world. <laughs> Excuse me, you're on my car. Mr. McCarthy, I need to talk to you. Oh, yeah? He's coming back. You were at the execution, weren't you? It's Jenky. He's coming back. What the fuck are you talking about? It's not over yet. He's, co he's coming back I for need you. this like a fucking hole in the head. No. The guy is dead. He was fried. Well, fried, that's just the point. You see, he, he's coming back for you. You're, you're his what link. What are you, his some focus, kind of his, fucking his nut or something? No, 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 listen to me. It's very important. He he knows what frightens you. Oh, yeah? He, he knows how to get at you. He'll lead you any way he can. He'll... He'll go through your family if oh, he has Oh, man, to. don't talk about me. No, that. listen, it's very important. Hey! Look, look, please, Mr. McCarthy, I've got to talk. Please, listen. you got to listen. Mom, you scared me, honey. Sorry. So where's Daddy taking you? I don't know. I told him it had to be someplace where cops don't eat. You see my pink dress. Why do you want it? I just want to see if it still fits. You're not dressing up for company. Mom, I just want to see if the dress fits. For my party. Your dress is probably in the basement. And I still don't want Vinny coming over. Thanks, Mom.
supposed to be here till 8. Oh, I couldn't wait. I was overcome by desire. <laughs> huh? I gotta get back upstairs. I'll come down and get you the minute that comes. Oh, no, 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 no. I promise. Mm. Besides, Vinny? Mm -hmm. Honey? Yeah. It gets better the longer you wait. Well, bigger anyway. Just the beginning. I'm still here. I nailed your ass good, didn't I? That's right, Lucas. And now it's my turn to watch you die. <laughs> It took him more than 10 minutes to die. Mm hmm. Was it awful? At least it's over now. Benny, where are you going? Bonnie? <laughs> Bonnie? Where are you? I'm watching you. <laughs> come on, Bonnie. If you come out, we could have a lot more fun. Yeah, but doesn't it make you horny knowing I'm watching? Huh. <laughs> That's kinky. Mm -hmm. That's real kinky. Baby, you are out there. I love you, Vinny. Do it for me. Please. Okay. Now 
I think I think I'm gonna leave some of this for you. Okay. Then I'm button your shirt. I'm button my shirt. Do it for me. I love you. Vinny, do it for me. Oh, God! Oh! 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 I met out so much stuff under his bed, I check it before I go to the market. Where did you get that from, you or me? Don't answer that. <laughs> what is this stuff? <laughs> Two weeks off in Barbados. Been back to active duty. Great. You know what we can do? We can take those kids that live in our house. If, uh, if you don't think they'll cramp our style too much. Can I come and sit next to you? Yeah. You know I love you. Now I've got gotcha. you. Good article. Engrossing. Can't put it down. I don't know. If I was Elvis Presley, I don't think that I'd fake my own death and move mm. to Kalamazoo just to eat at a Burger King, do you? Mm. I believe it. Mm. You would. Mm. Yeah. Did I catch you with your pants down? You can't hide from me, cop. <laughs>
sneak up on a man when he's blasting Metallica. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm sorry. Come help me look for Vinny. Why? I thought you guys had a little midnight rendezvous in the basement. He's not down there. I think he's in the house someplace. He said he's been up here before. Oh, great. You know, if Dad... If Dad finds him, he's gonna seriously kick his ass. I know. Please. He might have just left, you know. No, he likes me too much. And besides, he was too horny. I don't want to hear about this. This isn't funny. Jesus, Bonnie. <laughs> it's Dad. Why is he going downstairs? Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lucas, I've seen your daughter. She's pretty. Real pretty. You stay the fuck away from my house and my family. In fact, she looks good enough to eat. You stay away from my daughter, you piece of shit! Sounds like Dad found Vinny. Hope he doesn't hurt him. <laughs> stay the fuck away! <laughs> What's going on here? I thought I heard something in the basement. Bonnie? Oh, I... <laughs> I let Vinny come over while you guys were out. And I guess Dad found him down in the basement. Is he down there? No, there's nobody in the basement. But, Dad, I heard you talking to somebody down there. Hey, I didn't talk to anybody, all right? You kids go to bed now. I told you I didn't want Finney coming around. You're grounded this weekend, young lady. But, Mom... No arguments. Now go to bed, both of you. Great, Mom. Wow, that's some turkey, Mom. What is it, Thanksgiving? No, I just thought I'd cook your father's favorite. Besides, I thought it would be nice if we all sat down and had lunch together. Where is Dad? Down in the basement. He's fixing the furnace. I fixed it. That was some power surge. It blew half the circuit breakers and shorted out the furnace, but I fixed it. You know, I can never get that thing to work. I think it's got a mind of its own. Yeah, killer furnace. <laughs> Why don't you go and get cleaned up? Lunch is almost ready. Mm -hmm. 
Give the music a rest, guy. What? Dad, I can't hear you. The music's too loud. Save it till after lunch. Lose it, Scott. How does he do that? You know that I love you all. Dig in. You know, Mary Ellen didn't have any power surges yesterday. Mary Ellen doesn't have 40-year-old wiring. Or a couple of short people are capable of turning off a light switch. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine what her kids would look like? Oh, my. God, she's a very nice lady. So, Bonnie, are you going to go to um, that concert with Vinny on Friday? I called him three times today and didn't return my phone calls. He's probably working with his dad. In the mortuary. No, his parents are gone this weekend. I'm sure he'll call. I don't think so. If I know Vinny, he's probably going out with Bobby Sue or Mimi, the girl that, look at me, I got the big boobies in my eyes. Bonnie, he's going to call. Don't worry, baby. Don't worry. Thank you, you know, your grandpa always ate the drumstick. Wow, that's some cool trivia there. Remember? Like to sit down and flat when you sit down and flat Don't look now, Cub. But your family's dead. <laughs> George Bush's wife doesn't look like his mom, right? Come on. Come on. Dan Quayle's wife doesn't look like Trigger. Come on. Come on. I land down there. There for one night, opening for some one night show. Hoover, this guy that picks me up at the airport. You know, one of these guys, you know. How? Who knows that? Bobby Collins, I'm a comic. I came down to make people feel good. You know. Funny thing happened to me on the way to the studio today. I saw a lady and a baby hit by a truck. <laughs> well, I was laughing so hard, I had to walk into a bar. So I go into this bar, and the bartender says, Make me mad. <laughs> and I just get to the airport. I'm a Virgo. Get to the airport before I get to the airport. <laughs> what will it be? I say, Martini for me, Bloody Mary for my cleaver. Bartender says, Sorry, Mary's off today. <laughs> but you know, not all women were born to be barmaids. Take my wife and disembowel her, please. <laughs> you know, my wife said I want a vacation. Take me someplace I've never been before. So I said, how about the kitchen or the morgue? <laughs> I went to my psychiatrist. He said, you know, Jinky, you're a homicidal maniac. I said, I want a second opinion. He said, OK, you're ugly, too. <laughs> you know, my wife likes to talk after sex. Just last week, she called me from Las Vegas. <laughs> Lucas, you haven't played Bang the Beaver with a little woman for a long time. She must be one horny little bitch. <laughs> God damn it, I gotta know what's happening. I'm. I'm seeing things. I might be doing weird shit. My wife is going to leave me. I don't want to hurt my kids. Am I crazy? Am I? You got to tell me something that makes sense. I really haven't been much help to you, have I? I just can't get Jinky out of my head. If I knew where to find him, then I know how to deal with it.
Professor what? My name is Peter Campbell. I'm a scientist. You're shadowing me. No, no. I'm, I'm just trying to help you. You think you're going crazy, but you're not. I do? Max Jenke is not dead. No. The electrocution, it... It allowed him to move from the material plane. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm... I only want to help you. Help me? You gotta be fucking kidding me. You still here? Take a hike. Look, I understand how you feel. But we can help each other. I'm so close. Look, look at this place. Look where we are. It's like being on the inside of Jenky's head. This place is pure evil. I know why I'm here. How come you're here? You know something? <laughs> you're really starting to piss me off. <laughs> but how are you going to help me? All right. When I was at Columbia, I was working on a theory of pure evil as a form of electromagnetic energy and, right. and, and electricity of evil. That's why I got interested in Jenky. He was the purest form of evil available for close scientific observation. Why don't you cut the bullshit? Don't you get it? This is it. What? This is an electric chair. He was practicing. You know, like taking snake venom to build up his immunity. Even though he's not alive, he can still interact with us back here. He can do more damage than if he were alive. But in order to fight him, we've got to bring him back here. We've got to, we've got to use the same electromagnetic. Hey, relax. Electricity. We got to shoot the bastard with enough volts to bring him back here. The, the, the longer he stays wherever the hell he is, the stronger he gets. He's, he's already capable of manipulating our reality. Shoot him with juice. Bring him back here. And then it's simply a matter of blowing the motherfucker away. Keep talking. Hello. Hey, babe. Vinny. Yep. Where have you been? Oh, all over the place. Oh, I'm sorry I had to leave the other night, but listen, you know what? I think I left my wallet on the furnace in your basement. Could you check for me, please? Not unless you tell me why you didn't call me earlier. <laughs> I left you a surprise in the basement. Vinny? Vinny?
Hold it. Open it up. Hey, stand back. Open it up. Oh, crap. Benny. What happened, Hank? Your daughter found Benny Caparelli's body in your basement. It's been cut in half. How's Bonnie? She's had a pretty bad shock. I want to talk to her. For Christ's sake. You can't talk to her now. Why not? Let's talk about it on the way downtown, Luke. You're going to arrest me, Hank? Let's just say that I'm going to ask you a few more questions. I didn't do this. <sighs> I didn't do that. Hank, you gotta get them out of the house. You know, will you do that for me, please? Please. Yeah. Three thirty a.m. September twenty-fifth. I am preparing what I believe will be an effective means of eliminating Max Jenky. For quite some time now, I have believed that the same electromagnetic energy that released Jenky can be used to bring him back from whatever godforsaken place he came from. Using his focus, Lucas McCarthy, as the bait, I believe that I can successfully lure Jenky to his destruction. Tonight's experiments will, will verify the validity of my theory. Interesting theory, Professor Campbell. There are definitely flaws. God. What about this Campbell guy? Can he give you an alibi? No. Did he kill the kid? I told you no. Well, what's the connection? What does he have to do with the murder? Lucas. How long do I know you? 15 years? And I'll tell you, here in my gut, I know you're good people. But I also got to tell you, you're in this neck deep and sinking. Oh, that's very heartwarming, you guys going back a long time and all. But from where we sit, it doesn't mean shit all. What I got is pieces of Vinnie Caparelli plastered all over your basement. And I got your own son and daughter saying that they heard you and this Caparelli kid down there having no, a fight. No, no, I was not talking to Vinnie. Bullshit! What, the ghost story again? Are we through yet? No, we're not through. I can vouch for this man. This is a good cop. Well, I don't know him. You could be Charlie fucking Manson for all I know, except for his word, and I don't even know you. How long you been on the force? 19 years. Been cited for bravery seven times. Rampart Division. Worked yeah. your way up from the street, huh? That's right. Oh, you're a tough guy. Uh -huh. A real hero. What's the point? You knew Vinnie Caparelli was slipping the stones to your little girl, right? No, that's not right. What's not right? That he wasn't fucking her or that you didn't know he was fucking her? Why don't you get the fuck out of my face? Uh, no! I'm gonna stay right the fuck in your face until you tell me the truth. Now, you came home and you found this kid in your basement in the middle of the night with his dick in his hand. And you got pissed off! Fuck you! He talked back to you. He came at you. He picked up something. What did he do? Threaten you? Fuck me? Did he say, fuck me? No, fuck you! Lucas, maybe you thought it was a burglar. Man has a right to protect his home and family. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Thanks, but no thanks. We're just trying to help. You want to help me? Get this sweaty prick off my back. <laughs> Fine. But you lock one thing up here, OK? I got one murderer. I got one suspect. They teach you math at the academy? I'm just an internal affairs officer, OK? You know what it means to be in internal affairs? 
It means that every time some cop goes bad, I get it up the ass from the boys downtown. And I gotta go downtown now. You're breaking my heart. Oh, fine. Look, I didn't ask for this fucking job, but I got it. And I got good at it. I taught myself to learn one thing, one truth, and that is, is that we're all guilty. And the only thing that counts is whether or not you get caught. Now process this asshole. You got all the camel stuff, hey? Yeah. It's all in your court. Count on you. We'll knock this thing. Excuse me. My God, what a nightmare. I mean, to be a cop and to be arrested by your own kind. Who are you? Oh, excuse me. I'm Michael Jameson. I'm your court appointed attorney. My card. I can only imagine what would happen to you if you were actually sent to prison. Get me in front of a judge. I want to make bail. Well, under the circumstances, I'm afraid that's going to be impossible. You don't understand. I want to get out of here. I want to go home now. I told you I'd be back. Hello. You sick bastard. Who are you? What do you want? I'm going to have you inside out, little girl. got a present for you. No! You okay? I'm freezing to death. All right, what about Campbell? We just brought him in. Well, what did he say? In a body bag. Oh, shit!
That internal affairs asshole wants to charge you with both murders. He wants to charge me. I'm going home. It looks like this camel was killed with a meat cleaver like that Vinny kid. I'm going home, Lucas. This IA guy is pushing hard. The judge won't even set bail. This guy has got my family. I can feel it in my bones, I'm telling you. What the hell are you talking about? Jenky. Oh, Lucas, for Christ's sake, he's dead. You gotta let that rest. I'm going home. You are either with me or you're against me. Now, just a second. <laughs> me. You gotta get up, honey. Dad. What? I'm scared. Of what, baby? Help me. We gotta get out of here. I, yeah, I'm scared. What? <laughs> oh, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Where's your mother? Jackie's taking her. Where's your mother, baby? She's got... She's got mommy, daddy. Oh, Scott. What's happening? Please, help us. I'm gonna find your mother, and then everything's gonna be okay, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. This is a trick. <sighs> I'm coming for her and Jenky. I'm coming for my wife, you son of a... Too late again, mister. Hey! No, 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 no!
Still alive. Thought you might want to watch me work. That's far enough, asshole. Let her go. Why would I want to do that? Take me, Jinky. Let her go. I've already got you and your family, you stupid fuck. So, family man, how do you like it on the other side? <laughs> Let her go, Janky. Get on your knees! Why don't you crawl over here and lick my boots? Don't do it, Lucas. It's okay, baby. Lick the fucking floor! <laughs> <laughs> I want my children. Fuck the children! We gotta get the power on us anyway we can stop the son of a bitch. I don't understand. Trust me.
I hope that's it. We're just about full up. I think it's everything. Why don't you check the basement, honey? Oh, Dad! Well, we might have left something behind. Got something very important to talk to you about, young man. <laughs> All right. Well, I've been with Uncle Tex now for over 15 years, and well, we never had anything like this happen, son. And Uncle Tex wants you to have his personal apology and tell you that he has personally inspected the hands of every Texas employee. Well, they've all got two good ones. <laughs> and Uncle Tex wants you to have his personal assurance that the object you found in our chili was simply not a human thumb. <laughs> And he hopes that you will accept this five-year supply of our chili, complimentary. And if you're ever in Texas way, hey, don't forget to look us up personally, you hear? Yeah, you got it. Dad! Ah, Dad! What? What, baby? What? You're never going to believe this. Look who I found. Oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let me get 